Well, Jamie Lee, you seem to have found yours in. Did I see you doing some yoga yesterday? Was it do, not yes, particularly it like yoga, a... stretchy poses and Absolutely, that kind of thing? Absolutely, yes. Very, very cool. Yeah, well, yes. we're all about that on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, helping you to stay as healthy as possible for as long as possible. And whether it's the sustainability of uh, the clothing we wear and how we reuse and recycle or how we eat how, and, and what we eat, making conscious decisions will go a long way in ensuring the longevity of ourselves and, of course, our planet as well. Absolutely. Now, being mindful, being thoughtful, and being kind are all mantras which we, you know, can adopt to lead healthier lifestyles overall, but especially when it comes to our diet, you know, uh, which Chef Jay McNamara of the Kind Kitchen in Cape Town knows all too well. Take a look at this. I've been asked this question so many times. Why vegan? And I remember the moment quite clearly, the moment that I decided to stop eating animals. I was watching the documentary film called Earthlings. And at the time of watching the film, I hadn't eaten beef, lamb and pork for many years as I didn't feel the need. And part of me had already begun to sympathize with these sentient beings. I was so disconnected from the food I ate and it was in that moment that I decided to change to a vegan lifestyle by learning how to cook vegan and change my eating habits through a yogic way of life. Being an avid Star Wars fan, the concept of the light side and dark side resonated with me and was easily translated into this road of veganism that I now find myself on. So what led me to becoming a chef or wanting to become a chef was basically a yogic way of life. A yogic way of living shows to be kind and um, compassionate to all things living and all things around you really. So all of this started to make me think and contemplate more and more about myself and my own existence because the only way to really change the world around you is to start with yourself, right? And I thought, okay, so how do I change the world around me, I've got to start with me, and how am I going to do that? And that's through these actions of being kinder, eating kinder. And I decided then to go and study more yoga philosophy in the States. And with that came uh, an opportunity to study chefing in Austin, Texas. Having come from an advertising background, I realized and I understood full well the power of a brand. And for me, my brand was going to be kindness. I met Jay many years ago. He um, happened to be a yoga instructor at my sister's yoga studio. He had that real depth of his energy and kindness and compassion really shines out of him, out of every pore. My link to the sanctuary has been uh, through a very good friend, his sister and I go back uh, in our yoga journey together. We started studying a form of yoga which is called Jiva Mukti Yoga and uh, from Jiva Mukti's point of view the main aspect to it is animal rights and animal liberation. So the link per se to Grayton happens to be through the lineage of yoga which happens to be through Mike and his sister and yeah so there's quite a connection um, that has led us to this point. We have a SnapScan code on our menu and that money goes straight to the sanctuary. It's their SnapScan code. So that's one of the ways that you could give 10 bucks, five bucks, whatever works for you. Whenever you visit, that money can go straight to the sanctuary through SnapScan. You can also come and volunteer your time and energy here at the sanctuary. You could get in touch with the Grayton Animal Farm Sanctuary. I think it's, it's really nice, like the initiative that Jay is doing with Grayton Farm Animal Sanctuary, um, because the ethics are in line, you know, it's be kind, and I guess that's what we're trying to do here as well. So it's a real pleasure to be able to work with him. Whatever we do in the cafe, we choose to do with that thinking in mind, that brand awareness in mind of compassion and kindness. So that comes down to the suppliers that we use, that comes down to the food that we perhaps go forage. We try and use brands that work within the same ethos that we work in, or we go towards brands that we are ourselves inspired by. And those brands happen to be global and local brands because I use Be Well Mayonnaise on a daily basis and the, the product that they've created for a simple small kitchen like ours has helped us 
efficiently create products day in, day out that are consistent in taste, quality and flavour. Being vegan doesn't mean that we close ourselves off to the rest of the world. Um, it's actually the contrary. We, the Kind Kitchen is all about creating food that everyone can enjoy vegan, not vegan, and we ha actually have a lot of clientele that aren't close to being vegan and they come and enjoy a vegan meal and that's exactly why I set out along this path to showcasing a vegan lifestyle for what it truly is, a lifestyle that imbues compassion for all beings and that's what I believe um, the vegan lifestyle is. Think about it. It's easy to say no or to be cold and unkind because it means you create barriers to protect yourself from the world around you. Inversely, being kind means breaking those barriers down and opening ourselves up to unlimited possibilities. The Kind Kitchen embodies this mantra, to be kind. And being kind, in my mind, means creating good, wholesome food for people to enjoy, which just so happens to be vegan. Oh, wow. wow, how's that? Yes, it looks so good. Right? And I love his philosophy, being, you know, breaking down those barriers to open yourself up to a world of other possibilities out there just by, by being kinder. Wow. Thank you very much for those words and inspiration. Absolutely. And again, just by being kinder and more mindful of our actions and choices, we create, you know, just a brighter and more sustainable future for ourselves, our environment and our children. And it's so funny, on social media today, we were speaking about, you know, veganism and yes. maybe some of the vegan recipes that people at home love and, uh, you know, have been trying. And we got some social media comments that came through. One from Lelo saying, good morning, guys. My favorite vegan meal is a quinoa salad, but I'm not vegan. That's cool. Okay. That's okay. so fine. Yeah. Anything quinoa is always good for me as well. I like quinoa. It's mm. I think it's that allure of the ancient grain and the fact that it has the, it's a superfood, you know, and yeah. it was cultivated centuries ago. There just seems to be a mystique around it that I like quite a lot. Uh, that, that's, yeah? that's nice. You also <laughs> engage mm -mm, in some mm -mm, quinoa? Mm -mm, quinoa? Mm -mm. No? But Blondie also is saying <laughs> something. She's saying, smoked cauliflower roasted with soy sauce basting topped with unsalted cashew nuts Yo. nestled, wait, listen to this. Listen! Nestled on a sauce made from almond milk. It's Blondie, I mean, our Blondie food writer is nestled on a head of <laughs> wait 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 read, read that again in your fancy posh accent Go. smoked cauliflower roasted with soy sauce basting top with unsalted cashew nuts nestled on a sauce made from almond milk what is that accent I don't know, but it just sounds like that whole recipe is <laughs> so good. It's a vegan accent. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay tuned because uh, Chef Jay is in studio and will be cooking up a Be Well vegan recipe fit for a king. Or a queen. <laughs> or a queen. Or a queen. <laughs> Love, food, life.